My name is Ann Reinthal. I'm an associate professor in the Doctor of Physical Therapy program, which resides in the School of Health Sciences. I'm also a member of the Center for Human Machine Systems here at Cleveland State University. This is a collaboration between engineering and some of the healthcare faculty, and we look at how we integrate technology into human systems and really it's a lot about rehabilitation engineering in various ways. I work with engineers to integrate technology into the rehabilitation of people with neurologic impairments. Right now we're working on systems related to uh, balance impairments as well as mobility impairments. Think about how important independent mobility is for everyday life. It allows you to participate in many different activities. One out of three older adults falls every year, sometimes with serious injuries. This often leads to a fear of falling, and this fear of falling then leads to a downward cycle of inactivity. Inactivity, once that starts, now causes more problems in balance as well as other systems such as overall strength and aerobic condition. We counteract this cycle by using balance and mobility training protocols, but many people don't receive as effective of balance and mobility training as we would like. So our lab is working on developing protocols that will increase the effectiveness, specifically by increasing the intensity of these programs. We just received a grant from the American Heart Association that looks at balance training in individuals who have had a stroke. We have developed a program that utilizes this um, unique multi-directional harness system and using the harness allows us to train people using much more challenging movement activities than we could without a harness where they have a chance of falling. In addition, we integrate it with specially adapted commercial video games. And these video games provide a level of environmental complexity that you don't get in a typical clinical setting. We have recently installed a multi-directional harness system in a nearby urban greenhouse. This allows us to have people garden who have mobility impairments and couldn't do so otherwise. We have a long-term goal of developing a harness system that can be used in multiple community locations that is both inexpensive and will allow people to do other activities such as Tai Chi or line dancing in addition to gardening. We hope that by integrating technology into our novel training protocols, we really do improve people's balance and overall mobility. This will result in fewer falls, increased activity levels, and a higher quality of life for the people participating in these programs.